Hey, it's Jeff here. Welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. I'm walking the trails of Northwood Meadows State Park looking for a nice place to sit down and review the Outhouse Strong Ale from New Hampshire. But first, I want to do a little more hiking, actually more trail walking, because this is a very wide trail, before I sit down and enjoy that beer. Uh, it's a great way to get out. Beautiful day today, so I'll catch you in a minute. A little marshy area along the trail. A toadstool. Now all I need is a toad for that toadstool. Looks like I found a spot to sit down and do today's beer review. I've been to this one many times. Just took a different way to get here this time. It's so peaceful out here. Uh, this, uh, Labor Day weekend, I expected to see a lot more hikers on the trail, but uh, maybe I'm out here early enough before the hikers really hit the trail. So anyway, I already mentioned I'm doing this Outhouse Ale. It's a fairly new brew from them. It's their Strong Ale, and it has an alcohol by volume of 8.8% ABV. Now, uh, I am in Northwood, and that is where this brewery is from, Northwood, New Hampshire. So um, a Strong Ale is not really the type of beer you have at this time of year, per se. Uh, it's more of a cooler weather type beer. It's a beautiful day though I gotta tell you today out here it's uh, I mean it is uh, 72 degrees right around there 73 humidity's low sun is shining blue skies and I'm sitting here by the pond so I'm gonna crack this open now do not be surprised if this thing goes kaboom and I hope it doesn't but because I've been walking a couple of miles to get to this location so wish me luck and see what happens when I open this bottle. I don't, that's why I don't really Ah, like I said, ooh, doggy, there's a foam up. <laughs> well, what can you say? What can I do? I've been walking for two miles, bouncing across a bouncy trail and rocks and, and everything else. So let's try pouring this carefully into this little glass. I'll probably have a foam bomb here today, but we'll give it a check and see what we do. If I do it slow enough, I might just get enough to talk about it. Ooh, there we go. All right. Okay, take a look at this beer. <laughs> Didn't foam up quite as bad as I thought it might, but take a look at this beer. It is kind of a, it's a hazy colored beer, a hazy foamy sort of beer for sure. Uh, it does have an orange, a medium amber tone, even some hints of yellow in this as well. Busy carbonation, led up to a fairly decent head, uh, but the head's fizzling down quickly. So, let's check out the aroma. Oh, wow. Malts, I mean, big malt character for sure. You're getting a real solid malt character, caramel malt, toffee malt. And, um, but that's really what you're getting. It's almost like a melted uh, sweet malt character. The booze isn't too bad. It's 8.8%, nearly 9%, so I'm not getting much in the area of booze. And I'm really not getting much in the way of hops either, but I'm also picking up a touch of this kind of uh, tobacco kind of sensation, perhaps. We'll check it out. Let's check out the uh, the taste here. It's probably being served around 55 degrees in that ballpark, I'm guessing. I've been walking, as I said, and I bought it kind of chilled rather than really cold. Mm. But as you can see, it's a very tasty beer. It's got a lot of malt flavor to it, malt character, which is what I really like. I tend to be more of a malt uh, guy than more than a hop guy. And um, that's why I like strong ales are kind of high on my list of styles. Strong ales, scotch ales, uh, abbey ales, barley wines, things like that. Those tend to be high on my list. And this is really doing a pretty nice job. It's definitely got a real sweetness to it. Very sweet beer. Mm. Caramel sweet, not a sugar sweet. It's a caramel sweetness and a toffee sweetness. It's like a candied sweetness. That might be a better way to define it. Mm. The body is actually kind of on a thin to medium side. It's not a real heavy, bold body. I put it just a little under medium, maybe, something like that. But it's not offensive. It doesn't bother me, although I think, I, I think strong ales, I kind of like them to have a little more, uh, a little more depth to them than this one. But I'm not, it's a, not a big complaint because the flavor is really nice. It's got a neat bitterness at the end that kicks in, too. After a few sips, I'm really picking up this kind of nice, sharp sort of bitterness that sort of rolls up behind and warms uh, as I swallow it. Mm. 
yeah, but the sweetness, it's a sweet malt character. If you're a malt person, and a lot of people my age who have been drinking craft beer for as long as I have, which is about 30 years, uh, I think a lot of ones I know anyway, they tend to be more favoring the malts. We kind of came up before all those very hopped up beers that are all the rage these last three or four years, which have really appealed to younger craft beer drinkers as well as older ones. But I think the younger craft beer drinkers really like the super hoppy, grassy, uh, floral, piney type hopped beers. Uh, whereas people like myself who've been drinking since the 80s or 90s or something like that tend to be a little more open to the malt stuff. Um, well, that's my assumption. You can criticize me if you want. If you say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. But this is my observation, let's put it that way, amongst people of my generation. Yes, I'm of an older generation, right? <laughs> mm. But I'm enjoying this beer. It's a great way to uh, relax on the trail. Uh, I found a nice little bench here by the uh, overgrown weeds, but still right by the water, which is kind of nice. So that'll do it for now. This is the Outhouse Strong Ale from New Hampshire. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you again next time.